Welcome back to Business Life. Now, the rising cost of housing, water, electricity, as well as transport pushed the rate of inflation for January to 13.9%. Now, if the trend continues, we will see lending rates as well as the cost of living going up. The Great Sokwan region recorded the highest rate of inflation among the 10 traditional regions, the latest in the following report. For the first time in seven months, non-food inflation on annual basis increased more than the food inflation with rent and transport among the major drivers of inflation. Cost of living in the greater Accra region continued to surge, reflecting its position as a region with the highest inflation rate. Here is government statistician Professor Samuel Kobna Enim explaining to journalists what this means to the economy. So for the first time in seven months, we see non-food inflation surpassing food inflation by 0.4 percent, indicating that in the last um, six months we see the dominance of food inflation over non-food inflation. On a month-on-month on -month basis, from a trend perspective, we, we continue to see the volatility from a food and non-food perspective, and we see a close marking parity between food and non-food inflation. We did record parity for the month of December 2021. For the month of January 2022, we see an inching up of non-food inflation by 0.2%. Inflation for imported goods was 11%, which is higher than the 10.4% recorded in December 2021. Locally produced items, on the other hand, went up by 15%, a significant increase from the 13.3% recorded in December last year. Locally produced items continue to dominate imported items, and we are beginning to see a widening gap between locally produced items and imported items, specifically with locally produced items standing at 15.0% percent for the month of January 2022 and imported items 11.0 percent for the month of January 2022. Greater Accra region has regained its lead in overall inflation with an inflation figure of 18.4 percent which again is higher than the national average of 13.9 13.9 percent. Alcoholic beverages and tobacco, however, recorded a deflation during the period, whilst education registered the lowest rate of inflation. All right, joining us is Professor Goffer Bokwing, an economist and professor of finance at the University of Ghana. We're going to be speaking about a public forum set to take place tomorrow, Thursday, at the Men's Big Grand Hotel East Ligon on pressing economic issues. It's organized by Advocates for Christ Ghana and Economic Governance Platform, Joy Business is partnering. Uh, well, welcome to you, Prof. I'm tempted to ask you first about uh, the latest inflation figure reported by the Ghana Statistical Service. What does this signal? A rate of 13.9% in January. Yes, um, good evening, and good evening to um, your cherished uh, viewers. Um, I think um, a lot of things are becoming more clearer and, and real to us in terms of the challenges that uh, uh, the economy is going through and the fact that um, uh, inflation is aging up. Um, that, is, um, that is largely um, expected because of um, certain development in the economy. And essentially the fact that um, we are recording inflation uh, practically outside the upper band of the target of the uh, Bank of Ghana. And so what can be done uh, to ensure that or to make sure that the rate comes down? You, you want to look at the triggers, uh, non-food non inflation um, that is eating up and then also food inflation and see the underlying pressures. So overall, in terms of um, economic management, I think there's a lot that we have to do because once we do well, it, it will reflect in, 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 in this year. All right. 